Hi, my name is Carolina Sidar and I am a former law lecturer here in London as well as the founder of the Student's Guide to Law and firstclasslb.com. Today I want to talk to you about how you should structure your law essays in order to get a first. about why it is so important to structure your essays correctly when you're writing them, when you're aiming for a first. In fact, poor structure of an essay is something that a lot of students have in their essays, especially at the very beginning when they are just learning how to write law essays. And this is something that very, very often contributes to them not being able to get um, a grade above, let's say, 55%. So if your grades have never gone above 55%, for sure it is the case that you need to address this issue, so stay tuned. Now, so if you think about it, your essay is effectively a presentation of some sort of an argument, some sort of an opinion about a specific area of law. If we're talking about an essay question, if we're talking about the problem question, then of course you are writing a sort of an advice to a client on the things that happen to them and, and to what are the legal consequences of those things. But in both of those cases, what you need to do is present some sort of a coherent opinion. And in order for that um, opinion to be coherent so that your client can understand it, also that your lecturer can understand it, you need to structure it well enough that you're leading your reader from the beginning through the entire main body of the text and then to the conclusion. So there is a certain way, a certain pattern that you can follow when structuring all of your law essays that you should really start applying straight away if you haven't already. So the first key thing to do is to make sure that your essay has an introduction, the main body, and a conclusion. This is the first thing that you really, really need to start doing in terms of structuring your essays if you haven't already. So the question is what goes into each of those elements? Well, an introduction is effectively a bit of a background about the area of law you're going to be talking about, and then you need to provide some sort of a central argument in your essay, or if it's a problem question you can restate the facts of the case, and then you need to talk about how, um, how you're going to structure your essay. The conclusion is very, very similar in the sense that you're restating your central argument and then you're writing a few, you're restating a few arguments from the main body that support this argument. The main body is the trickiest part. That's the main part of your essay. That's the middle of it. And although it's very tempting to just write it all up as one single piece of text, you really shouldn't do that. The main body of your essay should also be divided into headings. So you should have, you should have one heading for introduction, one heading for a conclusion and then three or four headings depending on the length of the essay in the middle with different sections where you're addressing different parts of the argument that you're trying to make. Once you have done that the next thing to make sure is that each single paragraph within your essay is also structured in itself. So what I mean by this is that every single paragraph should have some sort of an introduction, so you should make it clear what you're going to talk about in this paragraph, then set out the argument, and then in the conclusion, sort of mini conclusion, mention what this paragraph was about and how it relates to the central argument of the essay. If you introduce just these two changes, this will really help to improve your grade and it's gonna set you in a good path to getting a first. Now, if you're looking for more detailed examples of different types of introductions, different types of um, structuring of a main body, how or examples of how you should structure each single paragraph within your essay, I have included all of that information in an online course that I have created about first class law essay writing that so many students have already benefited from. I'll provide a link to the course down below, so if you're interested in that, if you feel like you could get more help with structuring your law essays and generally writing first class law essays, then make sure you check it out. That's it for me for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more similar videos in the future.